Well, I always like to surprise people a little bit on my campaigns, come up with something that people wouldn't predict. So <laughs> there's a bit of a guessing game for you now. Can you get what um, what I'm going to do? Anyway, um, I'll see if I can obscure it in such a way so that uh, you can't guess it, but we'll see. Anyway, first of all, here's uh, clue number one. I'm going to get a sloop in Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Oh, I said Newfoundland then. Um, Right, makes it sound like I'm from Newcastle, doesn't it? Because that's what they say. Newcastle, I think. In fact, the Scots say things like that as well, don't they, actually? OK, here we go. Acadia. Where's Acadia? That's over here. Um, somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to get a sloop in there as well. Figured it out yet? Uh, I'm going to build a road in Florida. Uh, And I'm going to build a farm in the Black Hills. Now, uh, if I can afford one. I thought there was a farm in the Black Hills I could build. I could swore there was one. Uh, oh, I'm looking in New Mexico. Planet egg. Right, OK. Farm. Oh, it's not a farm, it's a boardy house. This is the farm. Actually, I can build a lot more, can't I? Uh, hmm. Let me just double check I built those things. Yeah. And then in Acadia. Uh, no, not there. Come on. In here. Yeah. I've worked it out. This is how much money I've got left. So I just don't understand why I've got so much more than I thought that I had. Um, did I build the road in Florida? Pretty sure I did. Yes. So, <laughs> what haven't I allowed for? Um, I originally wanted um, a farm in Cuba, but I didn't think I was going to have enough money for it. So... I don't even know why I'm looking there. Hey, I think it's getting late. It's had a very large T. <laughs> right, oh, I can build that as well. That's all a bit um, strange, I think. Um, let's have a double check there. Everything seems to be in place. So I don't quite know what's different than what I'd expected really, but something is, and I've no idea what it is. Anyway, um, let's see if it works. I really don't understand, that's really puzzled me. I'd done my maths, I'd worked out what I was going to do, and how I was going to do it. I've no idea, just no idea whatsoever, how I got my maths so badly wrong. Um, well, no. Summer 1811. I really, I'm just totally nonplussed by that. I really am. Uh, hmm. Looking through all my bits of paper that I'll leave for myself so I know what I'm going to be doing next. And uh, and I can't find it, so I'm sure that's what I intended to do. Right, what's happening here? Oh, this is those Indians, isn't it? What are they going to do? Are they going to damage that uh, building that I'm researching technology in? I always thought that was a bit stupid anyway, that really. Um, okay, Austria. I've decided on a new timer, by the way. I'm trying to use my mobile as a timer. Um, instead of the timer that I've been using before that tick-tocks all the time and drives me mad, so... Um, French move. I might just speed that up a little bit. In fact, no, I won't actually, because it'll be the Prussian move very quickly. The French don't do very much, I'm afraid. Not that I can see, anyway. Right, here it is. This is the fleet that I'm looking out for. Oh, is that it? Um. I didn't take account of where that is. It looks, looking on the bottom map, that it's just 
above Northern Ireland, just sort of, and just below the tip of Scotland, so somewhere in the middle of there, and just below my fleet that's near Iceland there. So, hmm, I'll uh, send something out to go and find it. What it is that I forgot to get, I thought I could get. Hmm. Right, uh, I'll just speed through these, hopefully. Come on, hurry up. And then I'll call it a day at the Spanish, I think. Um, I'm expecting this section to finish in a sea battle when I go for those Prussians. Again, I'm not sure if you want to watch a, another sea battle, but like I said, you can always skip. The only thing is, it's frustrating, isn't it? If you if you want to follow the campaign and you keep getting held up with battles, I can see that being a bit of a problem, but uh, the way I think about it is you've got choice this way, haven't you? Where's that? Georgia? Alright, that's good. Um, I wonder if he can reach where the other one can't. Uh, neither of them can reach there, can they? Let's see how far this one can go. Come on. No. This one's actually closer, isn't it? Okay, so let's get this one down here, see if I can assassinate. Yep, I can. 31%. Right, there you go, it's that chief I'm after, chief's bodyguard there. So I'll get rid of him, and then I've only got these two to look after, haven't I? Or look out for, I should say. Uh, recruitment report. Yep, loads and loads of things. Hopefully everything I asked for. Yes, all the sloops seem to be there. Sloop here, sloop there and there. So, uh, hmm, I seem to have got everything that I wanted. So, still, I remain puzzled. Anyway, so, enemy raid. Uh blockaded. Where's that? Actually, you know, I think I'll skip these sea battles. I'll, I'll do them myself. I won't show the next sea battle. You've seen loads, haven't you? So when I go in and get the... Um, uh, oh, that's a point. I can get more money by doing this as well. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll just do this one offline because it's only a brig and I've got lots of big ships against it, so um, I, I won't bother wasting your time with this one, I don't think. Okay. Well, the, um, the, I don't know, the mobile phone stopwatch thing is a waste of time. It's some kind of timer thing. Um, I'm going to take the money, 680. Thank you very much. And uh, that's all I want. I'm not even sure whether it's worth replenishing these, is it? No repairs needed. Uh, cost 7 to repair that one. Cost 12 to repair that one, and nothing to repair that. So the total damage is 19 there from that. It's not worth putting that into the port to repair, so I'm better off just um, putting it straight back on here, aren't I? Spain. Spain are only getting 183 there anyway. Very poor, aren't they? Because I'm raiding them further up. Look at that! Spain are now getting 428. Where's the sense in that, then? I don't understand that. So what does this show me now then? Um, other. 4845. Let's just take them off there and see what happens. Um, okay. 5,000. I get more. Now there's an interesting one for you all to think about. Why, when I pirate that, do I end up with less money? Is it because I'm pirating further down with a smaller number of ships? So I'm depriving these ships from stealing as much? Maybe. Because they'll take a percentage, and these will take a percentage of the percentage, and there's more of those. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm sure if you get your pen and paper, that'll make sense. But anyway, the uh, point is, there's absolutely no point in um, uh, in taking from there, is there? Yeah, no point whatsoever. So let's get the um, ship somewhere else. Cause he's not he's not doing any good at all up there. I suppose I could put him up there protecting that fleet, couldn't I? But nope, I'm not going to. Now, where was I? See if I've got this bit right then. Um, now, this is the clever bit. Well, it'll be clever if it works out. Just feast your eyes on this. Let's see if it works. Actually, before I do that, 
what I should do is get rid of the um, the Prussians. Yeah, I will do. Okay, trade route raided. Thank you very much. And which one's that? That's Georgia. We know about that one. We sent him off doing something. Port blockaded. Yeah, that's the one that we just released now. We just dealt with. Trade gained. Trade gained. Fleet arrives. Now that's my brig, isn't it, over in um, uh, the the east. So, construction report. Yep. OK, oh, that's in Cuba. That's good. So I can raise some decent troops in Cuba if I want to now, or at least half decent. I think I need one of the things I should have on my shopping list is a better building in Cuba so I can get some even better troops. OK, um, right, let's do this proper. I'm going to think very carefully about this one before I start. No, actually no. Come on, you're not thinking already, am I? Right, let's use this brig, first of all, to find the Prussians. Now, if you remember... He was just below there, and level with the top of here, and there. So he's here somewhere. He came through there, didn't he? That's the place, because these lighter areas... Somebody pointed out recently how this works on the ships, you know. I was getting mixed up with the, uh, the green area where, that, that they can attack from, and the area they can actually see. It's this area here they can see, and the areas that they've been over... Um, you, you can't see those anymore, so even if they've been across here, which they have, I wouldn't see anything in that zone. Right, well if I move up, say, to here, and then go along, I might just be able to see him. Oh, oh look at that! Talk about spot on! Oh, wow, that is just amazing look. Right, well again, um, you've seen these sea battles. The idea is to completely wipe out his um, fleet so that this army is totally destroyed. I'll send any um, other bits of ships, you know, India men and stuff like that, um, over to um, to pirate the, um, the Spanish on there. Or maybe I'll find someone else to pirate now as well. I don't know, but um, let's see what we can do. Uh, um, I'm not even sure I need them. Well, I, I know I don't need all of these. Anyway, I'm not going to show this again. I've shown plenty of fleet actions. I'm not even going to record this one. You've seen so many of these, and it will slow up the campaign a heck of a lot if I show all of these, I'm afraid. So, um, and I've got something else I want to show you as well, which is, I think, is going to be more interesting personally, but here we go. I'm hoping you got a good look at the ships there. Um, because I didn't describe them this time. You should be getting an idea now of what, what the ships look like, I think, you know, so in terms of quality. They were pretty poor quality there. I think you might have got a fourth rate in there, you might have got a couple of fifth rates, I don't know, but um, I think I've looked at them before, to be honest, haven't I, and shown them to you, but um, even if I haven't, you know, you can imagine a load of Dows, Briggs, India men mainly, half of them will be India men, you know. And uh, anyway, I'll bring you back in when I've, um, uh, when I've captured some ships. Well, here are the results, and I've totally lost track of time. Um, fourth rate, I'm selling everything basically but the trade ships. I'll keep the India man, and the India man, and the India man, <laughs> and the India man. Fourth rate, no. Fifth rate, no. Fifth rate, no. Bomb catch, no. Okay, so I'll take 10,000. I'll add these to the fleet. Well, it won't be 10,000, will it now? It'll be 8,045, which I'm perfectly happy with. Thank you very much. OK. Now, let's... Um, I, I fought two battles off camera now, so I should be able to do this. Uh, hopefully. Oh, they won't reach. It's a shame, isn't it? OK. Well, I can't say I'm too worried about that. Um, we seem to have plenty of ships around at the moment, so they're fairly safe. If they get beaten, OK, they get beaten. No, I don't think I'm really that worried about it. It says path blocked. Hmm, I think that was that brig earlier, so I don't think I'll worry too much about that. OK, let's see what we're doing here now. This is the um, uh, clever trick, or rather I hope it's a clever trick. I hope you'll be incredibly impressed by this. Hey, look at that YouTube video. It's fantastic. I've never seen anybody do anything like that before. Well, this, if it works out, it's actually a cheat, to be honest with you. It really is, but it's very, very handy. And I think it's right that it should work this way as well, actually. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the game at all. I think um, we should be able to do this. First of all, um, I'm going to bring those men, those mortars, and that uh, one infantry unit there that I've recruited, and I'm going to put it on this sloop in here. I hope I've got this right. So I'm not going to take the horse as well, just take these. 
I don't know if anybody guessed what I was going to do. I'm not even sure they're going to guess what I'm going to do after this as well. But the next move is to move over. I've given you a hint about how this works already, actually, with something else. But next move, you see how far they can go. They can reach here is the maximum I can get those troops to from Philadelphia from there. So I'm going to bring them round to here. Any orders? Okay, and you'll see now that if I take out these ships that I've just brought these in and put them back where is it? It goes... Uh, not sure. Where's it go? I've lost Philadelphia now. Where did, come on, Philadelphia's a big place. Get your act together. This is silly. Um, Philadelphia, there we go. Right, okay, I'll put it in there. Uh, it's not going to reach because it's already travelled all that way. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is take this fleet, which will now have the army on it, and look how far it can reach now. Yeah. So it's a kind of um, ferrying system, like a relay system, I suppose, as you're right. Only the, the troops are the baton. Battle, if you're French. Okay, over to here. Now, with a bit of luck, those men should still be on that fleet. I haven't taken them offshore, so it's slowed nothing down whatsoever. Yep, they're still there. So if I now take out the fleet that's already moved, you should be able to tell because you can see it can't move very far. And then put that one back in... Oh, I don't know where it was. It was Acadia somewhere, wasn't it? Was it down here? Uh good at this, am I? Um, it wasn't Acadia at all. It was here. Boston. Okay. So if I put that one now down in Boston and I now take out that ship from there. And I think all this is very right. There's no way it should take six months, which is each turn is half a year to get this far. That's just ridiculous. New York to Newfoundland in six months. No one really wants steamships. Right, okay. Over to here. Now, having dropped those off, again, I can see which one it is, because one of them is much longer than the other, can go much further than the other, I should say. So I'm going to return this one to Newfoundland, into here. Right, OK. So you'll see it gets left with the ship that gets left behind. Now, watch this. How many have I got on here? I've got... Oh, down, where are they? One, two, three, four, five. So I've got room for 15, yeah. Room for 15. How many have we got in here? 14. Mmm. How do we make up the extra number? Well, let's give them a general. <laughs> okay. Um, I know I'm being patronising now, aren't I? Uh, let's move them into there. Okay. Now, if I add all of those now to the fleet... Now, they should all now be on that sloop. So, if I now bring that sloop over here somewhere I don't know whereabouts it comes out to be honest with you, and I don't know if it makes any difference as to where you arrive in here but I'm going to arrive I'm going to go for I don't know here and see what happens and I'm going to press here that's about where my main fleet is see I went quite a long way in there to get there didn't I so I'm not too sure that means I'll come out quicker or how it works but we'll, we'll see when we get to the other end so Right, so that's really what I wanted to show to you, but hey, guesses, what am I going to do with them all? What am I going to do with them all? Now then, uh, my next little trick was to build some state buildings in these Cherokee territory areas. So I have one in there. I have one in there. So I'm fairly safe in these, you see, because the um, uh, this is the one I couldn't reach, wasn't it? Yeah, because this is all he's got. Okay, he'll damage bits of things in here, but I haven't built anything in there yet. Anyway, have I? So I'm really not worried about that at all. Infrastructure in there is being built, and now it's also going to be built in there. Um, over in Texas, I wanted that military building, and I don't think I've built it yet. I'm pretty quick at finding Texas. It must be easy to recognise. Um, construction, where are you? Here you are. Great stuff. I've wanted that for a while. And in Philadelphia, if I can get it, it's quite a lucrative area, Philadelphia, so I want to improve its income by giving it the House of Representatives as well. Probably gives me kudos as well, or whatever you call it. Um, now, I wa also want, um, over in this, these troops here, these ones that are fighting or about to fight, bound to be about to fight, I would say, 
the um, Cherokee, I want to um, get them to recruit a couple of uh, Legion to add to their numbers because uh, otherwise they're going to get um, overwhelmed by these. Oh, I could always retreat them, I suppose, which is fine, and I might well do that. Um, now, uh, I also wanted to spend some extra cash if I got some, which I have. 4,684, that's a lot, isn't it? Um, right, okay, I think I'm going to have to um, hmm. have a look around. Uh, what am I doing for time? I've still got about five minutes left, you know, and I was hoping to get the turn end in before I did anything else. So let's just have a look at... Um, uh, hmm, see what I can get in here. Um, I wanted a farm here last time, didn't I? Are they happy enough for me to build any proper buildings in there yet? I'll do a tobacco plantation, 4,500. There, that just about spends it, doesn't it? And it keeps everything quite simple as well, doesn't it? So, OK, let's see if I can squeeze in the turn end in the next few minutes. Um, yeah, I was going to say, before that, I might have to do something else, but... No, nope, I'm going to do the turn end. Hmm. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the Prussians do anything with my sort of brigs and ships that are over there on their side. Uh, according to my clock, if I've got my timing right, I've still got a few minutes left as well, so we shall see. Hmm, just checking that. That's all over in Germany, so no worries there. Still got the French move, uh, the uh, Spanish move to come. I'll just quit these just to save a little. Well, I didn't even show the Spanish, I'm sorry about that, but um, they didn't really seem a lot of point. I really didn't. Anyway, um, fair bit of money in there. Um, yeah, those are those Indians, those Cherokee Indians. Intellectual advance, national debt. Ah, I didn't realise that this is going to be something I have to deal with as well. Oh, it's given me that, is it? I don't want that. Diamond formation rubbish. Uh, what I do want is... Oh, hang on a minute, where is it? I do want these kind of things. I don't actually want that, but I want these others. Um, I want, really, shrapnel shot. I think I have to have that before, don't I? So I'm going to go for that as well then. Let's go for shrapnel shot, shot with that one there. OK, now, uh, recruitment report. Yep, they're the ones. Yeah, they'll just naturally go to the army, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, fleet arrives. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Intellectual advance we know about. Trait gained. Yes, thank you very much. OK, this is the fleet. Now then, let's see what I can do with this. Uh-huh. OK. Ah, now then. I might just be able to manage it. Just. Hmm. Okay. These are the ships with the army on. Put them in there. Okay. Now, they're the ones that had the army on. That's a brig. This is a sloop. I had a sloop, if you remember. Take that one out. So this one now, you'll see, has now got the army in. See? Crafty stuff, hey? So! What am I going to do now? Answers on a postcard, please. Answers on a postcard, please. I have a full army. And I'm here. What do you think, folks? <laughs> Guessing game time. OK. Um, well... I'll, I am going to leave this one as a cliffhanger, there's no doubt about it, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is join these up. So I'll bring him down to there, bring him up to here to join them. Uh, can they get further? They can, can't they? 
Might as well get them a bit further if I can. Come on. I'll take them to there, yeah. Okay. Take the brig. That's the one with the army on. Bring it up to here. Right, I'm going to have one last shot at moving it on, just to see if it works. I don't think it will from here, but it's worth a go. Um, fourth rate, fourth rate, fourth rate. Uh, that one there is a fifth rate. So I'll just bring those out. In fact, let's see. A fifth rate can move. No, it can't. Oh, that one can. A third rate can. Aha! Oh no, that's the sloop. No joy. Hmm. Now, I don't think I can move on any further from there. I will just have one try though. Pull those out and leave them with the Admiral and just see what happens. Right, the Admiral is a fifth rate. They usually move quite quickly. No, it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. That's a shame. I was hoping I could get just a little bit further into that territory, but it doesn't matter because my army is now on an extremely good fleet and very well defended there. Um, what I now need to do really is get these into a position whereby I can see whatever's coming at me. Oh, just bring these in. Okay, I need to start getting these um, trade ships onto a trade hub soon, I think. Um, and I really want to sort of keep these around here. Maybe I'll sort of... Hmm, yeah, let's have them in a line along here, shall we? And we can see what's coming. We'll get a good idea. You remember we were talking recently about what you can see and what you can attack. Well, the green there is what you can intercept, as has been pointed out. And the lighter areas are the bit that you can see. The only problem is the bits you can see are very... This is your movement these lighter green areas and there's your intercept area but the, um, the what it doesn't do for me is it doesn't tell you what you can see now you can guess that it's going to be able to see this at the end of the turn it's been able to see that this turn but you can't see what area actually covers in terms of line of sight so it only seems to cover that sort of an area you know just outside its actual intercept range so it looks as though I might just have that area covered there but perhaps there's a bit there that I won't have covered. But anyway, you get the idea, you see what the plan is, and um, anyway, I'm going to uh, keep you thinking on that one. There's your little cliffhanger.